What is poppin' squad your boy Jasami and today we have ourselves a different video now for the people who played division one for the past three years you guys know how important movement was in that game um pretty much it was the chicken dance era where everybody pretty much strafed bullets right in front of their face but when you came into division two you kind of got like a shell shock or, and like a reality check um that you can't do that anymore so you had to find the next best thing now i'm gonna tell you guys something that i've been playing um like in the past few days i don't know if this is going to be extremely viable in the future or it's just something you're used to but i've been trying to play like a hunter if that makes any sense uh if the people who have already fought hunters you guys know exactly what i'm talking about um hunters use a crap load of cover they move way too much like i feel like they move every two seconds and they're really really fast i kind of tried to replicate that with like my new play style um, especially practicing it in like PvE situations and I found that it actually made the game a lot easier now before people start saying well, that's what you're supposed to do yes I understand that but I'm talking to an excessive amount um, diving cover to cover um, moving corners like dude all these combined when you do them like free flow non-stop you feel super fast compared to how you used to be where you're like just taking cover pop it in and out moving around i don't know if it mixes up the ai's knowledge of where you're at and kind of like fakes them out or anything but for some reason moving around diving um hopping on cover and then like counting the animation by like uh like running cover to cover and diving out of that cover to cover and just all kinds of little things like that change the whole flow of the game and the reason i say it's like 100 is because one of the biggest things like i came across i don't know about everybody else um whenever i fought hunters i always wonder like okay it's they're smart right they play way different than other ais and why 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 is that what is making them so different other than the fact that they're just diving around and stuff it's how often they do it right whenever you try to push a hunter all of a sudden they run cover to cover and it's it looks super fast right it looks like they have like 100 movement speed but in reality i believe it's the same speed that we can go you are faster when you run cover to cover um i i was actually fighting against one of the homies and when we, we kind of like develop like this understanding of how much faster you can move when you play like this and you can see just in the gameplay how i attach myself to corners dodge off onto it latch back on and like the animation looks super super fast um if you're looking at me and in PvP, I feel like eventually this is going to be something that's going to throw a lot of people off because most people are used to people taking cover and like popping off just to shoot. And then when you push them, that's it. They're going to fight. And then instead of them dragging you out and like micro funneling you into following them into their traps all the time. And I found it super, super convenient that NPCs never really swarmed on me as they used to where I, you know, I would take cover and I would just play how I usually play, like Division One bad habits. Now, if you want to play like a hunter, if you want to appear as that, like I even had homies that told me I started to look like a hunter the way I was playing. If you want that, try to double everything you do in your normal gameplay. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, if you dive once in a situation, dive two times. If you run cover to cover six times, try to make it 12. Try to stay mobile all the, e even if you are, you're at a good vantage point just for practice. Learn how to pop on and off cover. And a real good example of how strong it is um, is like the Gears of War games, right? Um, I didn't play Gears, but I did watch like, I guess like, I don't know if you want to call them pros or comp or anything. But one big thing in Gears was wall bouncing. And I'm not saying you can wall bounce in Division, but you can you can kind of replicate how, how effective it is by moving around with cover to cover and using that on and off cover like bounce um you find yourself like feeling like damn like bro i'm lightning quick like i'm, I'm out here moving faster than I, I even thought i could and even though you you know division is slowed down you still feel like you, you're, you're in a hype like you're in hyper mode like I, I it's hard to explain obviously if you guys just keep re-watching the gameplay that i posted you can just see the examples of like how different the game looks when you're using cover and when you're using like angles um and, and obviously angles tie into this because when you're moving cover to cover you can find some really neat angles if you shoot behind cover while standing up and not being on the actual cover like if you're like on a vertical pillar or something don't latch onto the cover but kind of like pixel peak kind of like siege where like you're barely leaning just enough to get the shots off i don't know if, it, if it's going to be intended and sometimes you just can't be seen but using angles and, and cover and moving around and diving and staying mobile all the time even when you necessarily don't have to move throws off your opponents and me i'm telling you guys i'm an avid pvp or you guys know this um when i was playing against my homeboy he's really good at it uh 
it was it was it was actually humbling to see like man this is what happens when you truly take advantage of of cover when everybody was so torn and so hurt at the idea of of having to do this it's actually way more fun and it feels more tactical looking at cover knowing okay i, I know i can latch on to that over there let me hop over this let me turn around let me peek a couple times put a little bullet into him uh you know run cover to cover fake him out by diving out in their cover let, let them waste some of their ammo like, you know, and just hold position and control the flow of the entire engagement. And I think that changes the whole spectrum of a player, um, especially when it's going to come to PvE, because <clears throat> one of the biggest problems is NPCs just feel like they're just always pushing towards you. And it's always one straight line and you just oh, you just get enveloped with them over time, no matter what. If you start playing like this, bro, NPCs start looking like they get like their ankles broken, dude. It's crazy to to even think of that because you think you would you would think NPCs just lock on to you dude when you play like that I don't know if it's if you're just meant to play like that and it makes it easier it, I just felt like I controlled where I wanted the NPCs to be at and when I, and I whenever I did a little PvP with it people would like just like they'll end up just trying just to chase you and you and, and if you become chased you can control you choose when you want to engage you choose when you want to stop and, and firefight which you know that in your head you're the person chasing you doesn't so you have an advantage even in a situation where if you were getting pushed with multiple people if you just keep moving away from the battle um and kind of draw them in it's kind of like the same concept from division one where you used to funnel people down hallways except you do it everywhere right you got to master okay how every piece of cover works um how fast can i get over there um, diving towards people and maybe on PC it's a little bit harder because more people are laser beam but on console bro you dive towards somebody dude they're gonna potato if you dive behind them they're slow sensitivity it's gonna take them like 80 seconds to turn around dog I, I, there's so many times I've dived towards somebody after like trying to like master this play style um, and I was like man why aren't they shooting me it's because they have to do a full 180 that takes them all day because they're so used to being tunnel vision everything in front of them if you kind of push past them and, and run around you know, it, it kind of makes them uncomfortable to the point where they start doing it. And if they're not that kind of player, then you can just go crazy. So hopefully you guys are, are, are kind of understanding where I'm going with this. I, I was actually pretty excited to post this just, just to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Just just to showcase a little bit like of, of, of how much different play styles can actually apply in this game. And I feel like this is going to be a play style that I'm, I'm going to adapt. I'm going to master it. I'm going to I'm really going to explore it because I feel like it's more fun. You feel faster. I like being fast. I, I like I, I like the flashiness of it because you do animations and stuff that usually other players don't do because they, all they do is sprint, take cover, sprint, and take cover. I like I, I, I want to use the mechanics that the game has given us, and it definitely makes you feel like a hunter, bro. And that's the best feeling you can feel in this game because those are our highest threats, and those are the people that 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 you respect, right? Those are NPCs. You're like, damn, it's a hunter respect it now you have a player that acts like a hunter that's crazy you know what i'm saying if, if you can mix hunter habits with 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 human nature and like human decision making you can create a death machine in pvp and pve so apply that try it you guys just just, just overdo it a little bit because i mean obviously you're, you're gonna you're gonna water yourself down to where you get reasonable but try just go crazy like when you're in your pve and your pvp and try moving around a lot more than you used to try diving try hitting corners try holding down let them spray let, let them get in a reload animation dive towards them kind of fake them out where we're like you'll wait for them and then you'll bounce out just do all kinds of mix-ups and i promise you you will feel a hundred times better when you're playing and you'll enjoy it more because you will feel more mobile you won't feel so locked down um to like the game slow mechanics as you used to or as we thought we were going to be so it's pretty much it you guys i know i know that this isn't that necessarily like a crazy important video this is just something i want to share with you guys that i'm adapting so when you guys are going to start asking questions on why i move so much and and, and or, or if you guys like the play style that you're going to be seeing this is it i'm, I'm telling you guys now while i start it so tr take take the journey with me you feel me if you want to adapt this this hunter lifestyle man uh try it man and yeah, i promise you guys will enjoy it and i promise you the results start instantly i just feel so much better playing the game and just i just feel so much more mobile and so much more quick um than than i used to and that and that's a big statement because i, I played most of this game running regular so it's been real. I love you. I appreciate y'all. If you guys want to become hunters, let your boy know down in the comments. And if you already did this, man, GG. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to master this play style. And you're definitely going to see a lot more content revolving around it. So it's been real. I love y'all. Your boy is out.